We have heard a lot about the Caterpillar Wars. Earlier this week, Marks and Spencer issued court proceedings against Aldi for trademark infringement. In common with most other supermarkets, Aldi sells a Caterpillar cake called Cuthbert the Caterpillar, which Marks and Spencer says is a rip-off of its well-loved Colin the Caterpillar cake, which has been around for about 30 years. But what are the actual legal issues here? I'm joined by Professor Mark Engelman, a barrister specialising in intellectual property. Mark, what is a trademark and what does trademark infringement mean? Good evening. Good evening, Daniel. A trademark can comprise two things. It can be a registered trademark, and that's when you apply to get the trademark recorded in what is effectively a government register at the trademark registry. And there's also a trademark which exists without formal registration, just by use of the trademark, and that gives rise to a claim in what's known as passing off. So uh, that answers um, the sort of questions that arise in this sort of case, Daniel. Now, my understanding is that Marks and Spencer have trademarked the name Colin the Caterpillar and also the packaging, but they haven't trademarked, or at least not expressly, the concept of a, a chocolate caterpillar with pa- uh, ca- caterpillar. I can't even say the word with round sweeties for its eyes. So, what do you think they're actually trying to achieve with this court case? Well, they probably is, as I understand it, they have four registered trademarks. Uh, one is for Colin the Caterpillar, those three words. Then there's MNS Colin the Caterpillar. Then Connie the Caterpillar, which is Colin's female equivalent. And as you say, Daniel, they've also registered, and this is on the formal intellectual property office register, the packaging as well. And as I say, they've also got potentially, arguably, and we're a little in the dark because we haven't seen the claim yet, so I don't think anyone has, uh, they also have, of course, passing off. So if they were to proceed based on the words cuff but the caterpillar or the packaging, then they might proceed based on their registered trademarks. And also, I think it's likely that they'd rely on a passing off claim as well, because that comes always by virtue of the 30 years of use which has been made by MNS of Colin the Caterpillar. Now, for a passing off action, as I understand it, there's got to be a re- real risk of confusion by the consumer. Uh, where a product sold in a budget supermarket, can Marks & Spencer realistically say that the people who shop at Aldi are likely to get confused and think they're actually buying Marks & Spencer's Caterpillar? Well, that's, that, this is the nub of the case. And of course, as you know, Daniel, we can never quite comment on ongoing litigation, but we can only sort of assume that what might uh, arise is a, an attempt at arriving at that, which is there is confusion. But as, as you say, because they're sold in two different outlets um, and they are, are at different price points, these are relevant considerations for a judging and arriving at a conclusion of likelihood of confusion. But there is another section which allows you just to rely on the concept of what is known as link, whereby the average well-informed consumer, that's the sort of title given to the average shopper of this type of product, makes an association between Colin the Caterpillar and Cuthbert the Caterpillar so that they the link the two, one, the, the, the Colin is called to mind by the use of the trademark Cuthbert and, of course, the Caterpillar. Uh, Finally, if Marks and Spencer wins, does that mean that the other high street supermarkets, which aren't currently being sued but also have lookalike caterpillars, will have to stop selling their lookalike caterpillar cakes? Well, every every case um, turns on their on on their own individual facts. But if it turns out to some degree that the words the caterpillar, as it, as, as they as they arise, as it were, in the trademarks, become the centre of attention in in the ultimate decision of the intellectual property judge that hears this, then that might be a concern for third parties because quite a few of those third parties um, use, um, use those words like Cecil the Caterpillar, Curus the Caterpillar, uh, Clyde the Caterpillar and Carl the Caterpillar. They, they use those two words in, the, in, in their trademarks. Uh, Professor Mark Engelman, thank you very much.